Even emotions that are disturbing, like anger or fear, have their purpose. No one's life is free from stress, and when those stresses occur or problems arise, we have specific emotions that are part of our repertoire for a reason, because they help us solve those important problems. Anger, for example, is a constellation, a package of brain responses that facilitates our ability to remove obstacles that are in the way of important goals. With fear, the essential thing is to place the organism out of danger. So, for instance, an animal can rapidly flee from the predator or freeze. And so the experience of certain kinds of negative emotions are absolutely necessary and appropriate. Where problems arise uh, is when an emotion persists for a much longer duration of time uh, than it normally would. It was 6 a.m. I was like every day, normal day, going to work. I was stopped in the red line in the intersection and um, as soon as the light turned green, I, st I start going. I just heard a horn and I take a look on my right side, the car. It's all that I can remember. <clears throat> I thought it was over, but I'm still so scared. It's 6 a.m. on January 24th. You are driving yourself to work. You're listening to the radio. You stop at the intersection of School Street and Highland Avenue. It's been a year since the accident that broke Johnny Cortez's arm and leg. His bones have healed, but he is still unable to free himself from tormenting memories and crippling fear. At the VA Research Center in Manchester, New Hampshire, scientists are monitoring Johnny's level of anxiety. He is suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. One of the diagnostic signs of PTSD is that the reminders of the traumatic event produce a physical response. We decided to use the patient's own memory of the traumatic event as a stimulus. So we can measure bodily changes in the laboratory. As you're going through the traffic light, suddenly you see the light of a car coming on your right side, about to crash into you. What we saw while we were watching Mr. Cortez remembering that automobile accident that he went through was his heart rate going up much higher than it was prior to the memory. It started out around 90 and it wound up above 140. The beating of Johnny's heart and the sweat on his skin testify to Johnny's anguish and provide a window into his brain. We think that what's going on in the mind of the person with PTSD is not a simple memory. It's a re-experiencing situation, it's a reliving. If they feel as if they're really back in their traumatic situation, then their hearts start to beat faster and their hands get sweatier because they're preparing to deal with a very frightening event. The car crashes into you. Your chest is constricted and you want to scream. You hear sirens and then a female voice asking you something, but you can't answer the question. 
The voices around you are like a dream. You're confused and feel the blood rushing to your head. In PTSD, something breaks. An event occurs and the body and the brain cannot accept that it's over. And so instead of moving through it, people get stuck. They're always afraid that it will come back. They think that it has come back when they hear certain sounds or they feel certain things in their bodies that remind them of it. And it becomes like a cancer that sits there inside of your memory that dominates how you see the world and how you see yourself. Most of the nights I can't sleep very well. The bad dreams, they are, they are terrible. And uh, when I got a bad dreams and nightmares, I don't know how, but I can't remember, but I, I just woke up when I realized I am on the floor crying. And my wife uh, trying to call me, saying, it's okay, Johnny, it's okay. How has fear, a life-saving evolutionary response to danger, been transformed by a traumatic accident into PTSD? At Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston, scientists are examining the fear response, scanning the brains of people with and without post-traumatic stress disorder as a series of expressionless faces are flashed in front of them.